Okay, this painting is for those of you who like vampires. Whether you like Twilight, or you like uh, Anne Rice's vampires, or you like um, Vampire Diaries, whatever that is, or you like Interview with a Vampire, or you just like Gothic stuff, then this painting is for you. And it's really, really simple. And it's getting close to Halloween here, so it's perfect. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get this out for Halloween so you can do some cool backgrounds. Okay, so all you need to do this painting is black and red. <laughs> Real simple. I use the Montana black and the Montana red, but you can use whatever black and red you've got um, to make this. It's real simple, and it comes out really mysterious looking. So I did uh, one one of these on white paper and one of these on black paper. So let's let's do the black one on black paper now. You're also going to need a paintbrush and some extra poster board and a pencil for holes and make sure you've got your mask with good filters in it so you're not breathing this stuff. It's not good for you. Um, let's make some cool vampire stuff. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red and I'm going to make a moon. So I do that by spraying red wherever my moon's going to go. And I have a, a little thing that size, so that's why I picked that size. And then a little black over that, and then just take your poster board or your newspaper and brush it across, and you have a moon. And all you need to do is cover it up and spray around it. But you want to make sure it's dry enough first. It's kind of humid uh, where I'm painting, so it takes a moment to dry, so I'll just give it a little wind that way. And then I put my plate down, and there's my moon. Now I'm going to spray around it with black. So I'm going to spray around just where the moon is. It's got a red, bloody glow. And I want some stars, but I want my stars to be red, too. So, I'll so I poke a hole in some poster board. And I'm going to spray that red through the poster board to make mysterious looking stars. It's easier if your plate is flat, <laughs> but you can bend that poster board to get into those areas. And put some on my spatula and spatter it on, making sure to spatter pretty hard so that the spatters are small and they look star-like. So then I take my plate off, and then I have a spooky looking moon. And I can spray a little bit more red on top of that to make it like the moon's glowing. Just on the top edge, because so I want to keep that bottom edge a little bit more defined. So I'm spraying a little bit of red on because I'm going to make like a, a cemetery there. And I want there to be enough contrast for the, the gravestones to be black. I've got a cut out of some gravestones. You can just paint these in if you want. It might, be, it might be easier just to paint them in. But I was playing with cutouts. So you can see you just spray it on that, spray your black on that cutout and you have like interesting kind of spooky looking gravestones. What is it like when an earthquake hits? What is it like? So what I want to do is I want to make like a what is it like? A, a f foggy red thing and then there's a path coming through that. So all I do is spray some red on and I take some poster board and I just drag it and create a path by dragging it. And since my paper's black and the, there's paint underneath that's a little bit black, it comes out black. And that looks pretty cool. So I have kind of a, a spooky looking path coming from the cemetery. And now with my paintbrush, I'm just going to make some gravestones in the front. Okay, so now I'm going to make a big star in the sky by spraying on top of a CD and use that hole to make a big red star, kind of a spooky splotch. And now I want a little bit brighter in my painting, so I'm going to make some red clouds. And I do that by tearing some poster board just in kind of a cloudy shape and spraying the red on top of it wherever I want a cloud. Now I'm going to make some gravestones. So I spray some black onto my working surface and with my little round paintbrush I, I scoop it up and I just paint some, some uh, gravestone shapes and that's really easy because you're only doing the silhouettes.
So make all kinds of weird, spooky-looking gravestones. And think about what you'd like to use this background for. If you're going to paint something like a monster on it or something, or if you're going to give it to somebody, or if you're just going to make a really spooky painting and frame it. What do you want to do with this? It's so simple, and you can make all kinds of cool spooky stuff. And if you want, you can add more colors. You know, I kept it to red and black to keep it simple. But you could add a little orange. You could make your moon brighter. Play with it. See how spooky you can get for Halloween. Maybe put some bats in it. That's what I should have done. Anyway, have lots of fun with it. Enjoy.